numbers. Reload. A little bit of headshot practice. Oh, I'm hearing. Is that spider zombies in the distance? Might be. Might be. Oh, we go to runner. We go to runner. Oh, he's gonna be running straight into some shotgun rain. Oh, another runner. Another runner. Another runner. Oh, get up the ladder. No. to the episode of seven days that i open 19 today we return ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and mm, 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 is it good to be home the daytime is upon us for a brand spanking new day and today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. This is this, this is the low. English is hard. There's like this shooting range type location we've come across in our town. We've kind of wandered past it before. It looks to be some kind of like a military location. So yeah, I'm super excited to go ahead and check out the shooting range location over here. If y'all do recall, we finally got home from a huge trek back up north to recover a ton of loot from our old bases because we've kind of started migrating down here into the south. And in, in just a few days, it's day 18 in a day 21 in the seven days to die time which is give or take a few episodes there's gonna be a massive zombie horde coming to try and poop on everything we know and love and oh speak of the devil how in theme there's a zombie actually a lot of zombies what intonation is going on dude this is not the welcome present that i expected to come back but hey baby four a little bit of sledgehammer practice a little bit of the why are we going to get the oh, mace to the face action going on as well always a great way uh, to break in back into our homes. Okay, they're starting to pick up the speed a little bit. I don't like that. Anyways, I was gonna say before these guys decide, oh my god. I don't think I can have this many people in my house, dude. This is illegal. Stay away. Okay, they appear to be, uh, well, dying. So that's good. Shouts out to you guys. Yeah, when that massive, that's not the horde I was talking about. When that massive horde shows up day 21 nighttime. Yeah, uh, they're gonna want to destroy everything we know and love. And even stuff that we don't know and don't love. And they're gonna come in major numbers. Ooh, loot. They might be able to drop a lot of this stuff. Let's go, we got some good stuff over there. You might also be like, Star, what's this in your inventory? Yeah, <laughs> don't mean to brag. I may or may not have uh, organized my inventory quite the insanity. I know, I'm not really known for organizational efforts, but voila! Over here, we got our armor chest. Voila, actually, hold up. I don't know why I messed that up. Now it's the armor chest. Voila! We got the gun chest and all of our ammos and stuff like that. Voila! The melee chest over here. Let's go ahead and plop a few things into there, too. I'll scrap the crossbow bolts. I usually don't use the crossbow. Ooh, let's put away some of that ammo over there. Perfect loot for us to pick up to show off all these chests. Over here, we got all of our, like, miscellaneous, just, like, tool parts, weapon parts, that type of stuff. Here, we got our medical slash food supply chest. And over here, we got pretty much all of our resources and just kind of, like, other types of stuff and stuff like that. But speaking of which, another nice thing about being home is that we can kind of like uh, work, work on our base a little bit. You know, even though this is a temporary base, as y'all do recall for day 21, I would love to actually go ahead and build like a from scratch and start building our own base over here, kind of between these two towns that we do call our own. So we gotta kind of kick things up into high gear, but regardless, doing what we're gonna do over here, checking out this shooting range location, it's something I've wanted to do for a while. I'm not gonna be waiting anymore. We still got plenty of other awesome locations to check out. We got some quests to knock out. We got trader stuff to knock out, but today we're gonna be focusing on that little shooting range. And then hopefully we'll be able to find some loot to help us out either that we could sell for a pretty penny, maybe get some good stuff because uh, in order to more effectively build, we, uh, we still gotta get some power tools, ideally, to help us with our building efforts, but, uh, regardless. I digress. Why don't we go ahead and plop down this campfire? And actually go in and cook up a little bit of food, because another nice thing about being home, like I was saying, even though it's a temporary base, we can still improve on it a little bit, you know? Because, uh, I currently have three over there and five over here. Eight cans of sham to my name for my food. However, I got 109 slabs of meat, so, oh, baby, hope you're ready for some meat! Cause I got some cooking over here. We got some of the cooking pots and the grills over here. Boop. And boop. And that should unlock a whole plethora of new cooking options for us to mess around with. I could go ahead and bring out the chrysanthemums. We could cook up a little bit of red tea, which is gonna get us a little bit more hydration and stuff like that. And before we head out, just make sure to have a little bit of, make a little bit of food. Get a little bit of hydration. Old dim goodies. Let's toss in a little bit of fuel. And primarily, how are we looking on the food? How are we looking on the food? We got boiled meat, which unfortunately I don't know. Apparently boiling meat is some kind of a secret recipe hidden back centuries ago that we haven't yet discovered. But 
We can grill meat and we can char meat. And I'm not gonna lie, I got a feeling that the grilled meat... I don't know, dude. That char meat looks pretty well done. I will take, like, the medium rare over here. Actually, that's, that's like, well, well, well done. That's, like, infinitely well done. Uh, I don't know if I want to cook... Oh, actually, hold up, hold up. Before we do that, I got some eggs. Oh, we might be able to make some bacon and eggs. Back on it! I don't know how to make bacon and eggs either. Dude, it's not that hard. I'm pretty sure a potato could make bacon and eggs. And subsequently, give us a nice meal instantly if we also cook that potato. But I, I digress. Okay. Uh, we'll cook up a few of these grilled meats over here. I don't want to cook up all of our meat supply. But we'll go ahead and get that cooking. A good look. And just for by the time we come back. And then why don't we go ahead and chow down on a little bit of cans of sham. Uh, for now, I'll go ahead and down a little bit of water, too. Y'all can again see at the bottom. Green bars are food. Blue bar is our water. We got to make sure to keep those two things in check throughout all of our miscellaneous adventures. And today's adventures, of course, are being quite heavy on the looting side of things. But pretty soon, there's going to be some major base building. And I ideally, like, we've been kind of investing some of our perk points to go down the avenue. Of, uh, well, I think next up, I want to get this freaking electrician perk over here that will then allow us to build, and I quote over there at the top, build advanced base defense systems such as electric fences and blade traps. Blade traps are bay. Blade. Bay. Bade. No, I thought there was a pun in there somewhere. My girlfriend would be so disappointed in me. She's the queen of puns. Hopefully she never sees this video. <laughs> but alright, as much as I'd love to get that quest that is not on the agenda for today, I would just kind of like give it our tummy a bit of a second to digest all the food that we were eating. I might eat like one, maybe two more cans of sham just to fill up the rest of our hunger. So hopefully we'll have a full little belly for the rest of our adventures coming today. And ooh, um, can I make some red tea? I don't believe so. Really? Why can I not make red tea? Oh, there it is. Again, I don't have the perk. Dude, tea is not that hard to make, man. <laughs> wow. The apocalypse really must have messed me up if I don't know how to make tea. Alright, uh, we'll put that the way then. Uh, put the way to water too. Put the way there. We're bringing the lockpicks with us for sure. A nice little wood stockpile. Never hurts no one. Uh, put that money away. We'll put this stuff away. Definitely bringing the wrench with us. We got all of our potential tools we might need. We got a wrench. We got a shovel. We got a pickaxe, and we got a fire axe, pretty much covering all types of materials we might need to break into. And of course, the lockpick for any locked things we might come across, such as doors, safes, etc. You name it, bucko. And, uh, which I got a few guns as well. I didn't really bring much ammo, but I'm kind of banking on finding some ammo, because I'm not sure if you know, but I feel like sh a shooting range would have ammo. I don't know if that's technically, like, the name of this location either, but it, it has, like, a shooting range built into it, and it literally has, like... It has the military, like, signage associated with it as well. It ain't no military factory, although, oh, baby, we already looted up one of those. And we still got, I believe, a few more to go as well. But ironically enough, it is next door. So this is like a freaking military town that we're living in the middle of. It's a shotgun of messiah. I don't know what exactly, but it appears to be some kind of like a White River shotgun of messiah settlement. I don't know. Hello, how you doing there, governor? <laughs> that completely whiffed, and that was the one arrow I decided to bring. Good thing arrows are optional, but flaming maces to the faces are not! <laughs> I fully expected the first one to do them in, but uh, it looks like second one, uh, did the job. Sounds like a little bit of ruckus inside. Oh, a lot of ruckus in this dumpster. Eh, not what I'm looking for, though. But luckily, even if we don't necessarily find the loot we're looking for, nonetheless, We'll probably find something valuable that we can sell for money and then use that money to then help us uh, get any potential resources we might need if we're lucky and there's power tools for sale, get power tools, which will greatly expedite our building process. Tons of great things for us to ideally get prepared and not just for day 21 horde, but onwards. Because like this is gonna be our first like from from like for our season of Alpha 19 here in Seven Days to Die. It's gonna be our first from the ground base that we have built. We gotta like I'm not gonna lie, dude. We became the freaking, uh, kings of a local 7-Eleven. We became freak freaking, uh, uh, the emperors of 7-Eleven in our local area. <laughs> for one of those hordes. And it worked out pretty well. And then another one, and we just fortified, honestly, the place y'all were seeing. Our little local, uh, local church. Hello. Good boy. Yeah, our little local church. Pretty well. Pretty decently fortified. These things over here, actually, are pretty good for us to pick up. I don't know if I'm gonna spend too much time picking them up now. 
But y'all are seeing we're getting uh, cobblestone rocks and cement, both of which we can utilize to heavily upgrade the walls that uh, we are going to be rocking. Any, like, secrets up there? I know that Seven Days to Die loves its secrets. And speaking of things that I love, hopefully there's going to be a lot of loot coming. Whoa! Oh, hey, Baco! <laughs> I thought you could be all sneaky deaky around me. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't even too crazily hidden, but that's what I'm talking about, my dude. My guy. Gotta keep an eye out for stuff like that. And the six steel sun chamber parts it contains. Nice. Just kidding. No, that's... It can be significantly nicer. Toolbox? Okay. Hard to go wrong with that stuff. We're gonna be looting this place quite nicely, though, because this is my first time... Like, can I say, like, an easier way into there? I don't really know. Can I parkour into there? Also, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Bathrooms! I've found pistols in bathrooms before. I will never live that down. I will always do my due diligence on a good old-fashioned bathroom. Oh, my God! That painting's terrifying. It's looking at us, dude. Why are you looking at us? I'm on the roof. Is it gonna, like, collapse under my feet? That's just a sketchy painting all around. Alright, regardless. Hello, gun safe. Please tell me one of my seven picks are gonna be able to work for this. But while we're picking this and crossing my fingers, it's super hard. Hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely incredible day. Ah! Of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better uh, from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go out and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that I need to Oh, wow! That's exactly what the joy do do. And okay. Not the loot that I was looking for, but I'm not glad these rad removers are an interesting piece of machinery. And it is a weapon modification which can greatly increase the value of any uh, guns that we might want to sell as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if I do want to sell some, especially money. I can sell that for more money. Uh, especially on our path, on our quest. I mean, best case scenario, we find one of these puppies in this shooting range with the automatic shotgun. Oh, you've been on the trail of this bloody thing for years. Okay, maybe not years, but a while. And I would like to finally get my bloody hands on this bloody gun, you know? And all right, I got a feeling we're gonna be getting our hands on some bloody zombies here in just a whiff. Hey, okay, so it looks like that's gonna take us into the close encounters. That sounds sketchy. Why does it sound like a horror movie? Oh! Oh, I thought that was like the freaking ground collapsing under us. I've fallen into too many random cave systems while just walking and minding my own business to be able to trust anything in Seven Days to Die ever. But hello, I liked what I saw already. We got some ammo display cases over here. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Oh, water purifier mod. Not bad, dude. That's a bit of a, a, bit of a cheat code metaphorically because uh, pretty much if we install that in our helmet, yeah, we can drink anything. No repercussions. Like, that is... That, ooh. Nice little ammo supplies there. Ammo, of course, will be good because uh, if our base defenses are not ready to go... I mean, it's, it's always good for shooting things. <laughs> but especially for that Day 21 horde that is lurking in all future horrors. It's just always a good fallback plan because, you know, when things start to get hectic, maybe our traps aren't doing the trick. Nothing that a little bit, uh, a little bit of bullets won't be able to do. Why are there steel knuckle parts on a gun, gun rack, dude? I, last I checked, steel knuckles are not a gun... Am I crazy? Ooh, fancy mask. Am I crazy for thinking that? Is that, is that, ooh, a lot of ammo. Okay, well, the game is kind of shutting me up pretty nicely by bribing me with ammo, so I'll take it for now, but, uh, all right, some double barrels and stuff like that. Not in too naughty. Ammo parts up in there. Okay, again, continuing to get plenty of shotgun ammo. I could have brought a shotgun. Actually, I mean, I don't need to bring a shotgun. We got one right here, baby. Why don't we go ahead and put away the bow? As fun as that is, uh, oh, and we can modify this too. Let's toss one of these rad removers on it. Even though we, we're not technically, unless we get unlucky or lucky, depending on how you look at it, and run across irradiated zombies, which are much more powerful. I mean, this thing still makes our gun more powerful by like plus one point over there. So uh, a shotgun rain is prepared to inflict all the pain. Shotgun rain. Um, there might still be some shelves here that are worth looting. I've never looted this location before, so I don't know, like, I don't know any, like, specific things I should be keeping my eye out for. Obviously, crates, always good. Obviously, anything that looks like this, pretty good, too. Any cheeky things that look like they might be hidden, always good as well. But I don't know, like, how to go out of my way and get something I might want, you know? So, uh, you and me both. We got quite the adventure on our hands. And man, oh man! 
They just got ammo lying around everywhere. Oh, hey, hey, well, I mean, it is a shooting range. Why don't we go ahead and partake, part, partake in the festivities? A shotgun parade, baby! Whoa! Oh, what's that? What's that? You want to join the train? Shotgun rain, baby. All aboard! What's up in here? More of these things? Why do I feel like there's gonna be something hidden underneath this? I've been playing enough seven days that I don't know that something cheeky's here. Just kidding, more hay. What suspicious music? I don't know how to feel about this. What about under the hay? No. Dude, come on, this gotta be something secret in this little barn! Besides naked statues. Worst secret ever. And arms. Man, these things have uh, seen better days, I tell you what. I should turn off my flashlight, it's literally bright as can be. Oh, I could maybe do a little bit of parkour. And maybe, oh, is there something up here? Or are there gonna be zombie birds? Bird's nest. Hey, dude, I'll take some eggs. Maybe one day whenever I learn how to make bacon and eggs, because apparently, again, it's a lost art. Lost centuries ago that I need to rediscover through some immense studies. It's not like you just crack an egg on a pan and, and watch it sizzle. Same, same with the bacon. Again, not, not too crazy, you know, but I know I'm, I'm speaking forbidden knowledge here. I can't mention this out loud. It's breaking the code. <laughs> Uh, cooler? Hey, let's go, dude. Blueberry pie. Watermelon sugar, baby. Oh, ow. Stab myself a little bit. Stupid barbed wire. I see someone on back on the other side of this fence. And all right. I think we've looted kind of like this section. We're about to be moving into this close encounters area. I mean, listen, okay. That looks promising, but I got a feeling it's not going to be as easy as it looks, dude. <laughs> There's no easy things in seven days to die. Are there landmines? What sick and twisted trick is about to about to happen here, Bucko? There's there's I there's literally no way. Okay, it sounds like actually, yeah, a lot of zombies happen to be here. Oh my god! We're being swarmed from every which way. Are there any runners? First things first, we gotta deal with runners. Is that explosive? Unfortunately, no. Waste of shotgun ammo. I'll take it. All right, baby, it's time. We'll throw some shotgun rain. We gotta start dealing with these schmucks. Running around. Managing our enemies. Luckily, it appears to be pretty manageable numbers. Reload. A little bit of headshot practice. Oh, I'm hearing. Is that spider zombies in the distance? Might be. Might be. Oh, we're going to run. We're going to run. Oh, he's going to be running straight into some shotgun rain. Oh, another runner. Another runner. Another runner. Oh, get up the ladder. No. Oh. She's gonna be following. Yay! Yay! No, thank you. This ladder is a VIP access only. Oh! You're not a VIP. Okay, I'll allow it. Hold the place down. I'll be back. Whee! Yay! Oh man. Okay. Circle back around this way. Again, just trying to identify any runners. The runners have got to go first. That man just flopped like a bloody fish coming out of that second story. That was hilarious. All right, does appear that we got another runner on our hands here. Yeet! Oh no, yeet! Luckily, the second bullet was able to take care of him. Oh! Uh, uh, evasive maneuvers. Ah! Uh, man, they just keep on showing up. No worries, I'll deal with them. I kind of, I kind of wish. Did we pick up any like explosives? Explosives would be really fun right about now, you know. Okay, dude, some of these things look like they gotta go boom. Where's the boom? Oh, there's the boom! <laughs> Hope there was a loot on top of that tower, because that'd be disappointing. All right, hold up, hold up, I got an idea. It's gonna be pretty bloody fun, I tell you what, Sonny Jim Bob. All right, I'm gonna try to lure the zombies back over by some of these explosivo barrels. I thought there were significantly more Regardless, let's have a little bit of fun with it! As long as that loot in the middle stays undamaged, we'll be looking good to go. Shotgun rain! So stay all dry. That one did not feel the pain, though. Another zombie. Oh, aboard the bullet train! Shotgun rain! Still no runners. Oh, they go to prop adversary here. Can I get this to boom? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's go. <laughs> they all dead? Yeah, they dead. They looking mighty dead. Yeah, the barrels definitely make things sing. 
significantly more fun. What about this dropped loot? Pretty trash! Secret entrance doorway? Not really sure where this leads to. I mean, I'm still hearing a few stragglers, but I, th I think we did take care of the bulk of our enemies. We still gotta watch out for potential ambush in some of these close quarters. Oh, mama, yeah, we got a runner! Oh, who let the dogs out? Woo! Woo! Oh, no. How'd you survive that? Point blank double barrel shotgun, yay! Let's give her a second dose of shotgun rain, baby. First one obviously didn't get the job done. Luckily, we got plenty available. Would y'all like some too? Oh my god. This head movement! Did y'all go to freaking MMA boxing school or something? What is this? The bobbin and weaving! It's next level. Unfortunately, that might be a KO. I'm no expert, but uh, might be. Oh my god, that looks so beautiful. That heart and chest is really good too. What do we have? Five lockpicks, six lockpicks left? I still hear like a little bit of movement here, man. I just don't want to get jumped by any zombies too hard. But I think we might be good to go. Let's send it. Let's start unlocking the heart and chest first and foremost, man. Wish me luck, baby. Yeah, while we're doing that, like I was saying, hopefully everybody is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be for the video, bring your smile, bring your giggle, anything or everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go in the biggest way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers and needly do. That's exactly what the joy do do because nothing else brings a smile to my face like no one that hopefully I can bring one uh, to yours, whether that be indirectly or directly or whatever it might be, whether it be from the shenanigans of the video or just me crossing my fingers and wishing y'all nothing but the best, just knowing that hopefully. Hopefully there's some happiness being spread even as the smaller, bigger of amount as it might be. That just always brings a freaking smile to my face, man. And makes me the holly jolly psychopath that's out here slaying zombies. And hopefully, I don't know, getting some good loot from these chests. Ah! Man, dude, I cannot wait for this to start dropping better loot. I feel like we've had quite a few misses on this stuff. That just like, I think the new 7 Days to Die leveling loot system where you gotta level up if you want to get the best stuff. Uh, from loot containers. I mean, we've definitely progressed to getting better things than we were getting before, but man, it's uh, it could be better as well. All right, all right, all right. Here's the plan. I'm gonna go and drop some stuff off into our motorcycle because uh, that's a thing. And I would very much so enjoy more inventory room. Wanna know why? Cause I'm a hoarder. I don't like managing inventory room. I just like hoarding. That's why. It was such a big feat, such a tremendous accomplishment. When we started the video and I was just, I just had to flex on him. Had to flex that, uh, where's my motorcycle? There it is. Had to flex that organized inventory, you know? It's a rare occurrence, I tell you. But all right, prime opportunity here. Just drop off, I don't know, man. Anything that, definitely anything that does not stack. This thing gives us a nice little, uh, he's, Causing a ruckus here. How'd you survive that dude? I just beat you to death. Not, well, not necessarily that first it wasn't the death, but I just beat him with a stick. An absolutely decked out stick. And you're telling me you're gonna survive that dude? If someone hit me with a flaming stick with barbed wire, whatever that iron breaker mod is, and a, a special grip. Full swing? I'm doing power swings too. I'm doing the right clicks that do more, more damage. Use more stamina, but more damage. That's the quick hit. I mean, the, you know, the power swing. You're telling me, dude, if, if someone did that to me, I'm dead. I am literally dead. I don't know, man. I, I think I'm cooler than that zombie. I feel like I can survive more. I don't know. Maybe I might be biased. Oh, no way. We got a second water purifier. Let's go. Let's put away a few more of these things. Um. Yeah, I'll just start putting away everything. No, it's time. We'll be getting picky there, lads. No, it's time. There you have it. Worst case, we'll just stack something later. We got a ton of room now to play with. You'd love to see it, baby. But yeah, like I was saying, hopefully there is some awesomeness coming. Oh, chicken! Okay, he's running away pretty swell. Hopefully there is some awesomeness coming to you lads and lassies. Well, I'm like that fella. 
Hopefully the opposite of that fellow is coming your way. But hopefully there's some awesome what's coming to lads and lassies way, whether it be for some smiles or some giggles from the video. Something awesome going on in the real lives of yours, whether that be something going on, something important you had, a project, a big meeting, a big uh, big deadline you had or something that you absolutely nailed and destroyed, maybe like a test. Something important like that. Hopefully you nailed it. Hopefully it's awesome. And hopefully it keeps on being awesome. Always wishing for nothing but the best in regards to that stuff. And more ammunition, baby. I mean, I don't mind. But I would... Okay, a lot of parts, too. I would much prefer... You know. Some new guns. But hey, all these parts... Eventually, we'll be able to just kind of craft this thing by ourselves. We gotta find the schematic out in the wild. We either gotta buy that thing... Alright, we gotta read some books. I gotta go, like, to the bookstore. And, uh, for whatever reason, the bookstore will have detailed schematics and plans of how to craft a fully automatic shotgun. I'm not here to question it. I'm just here to roll with it. Garbage pile. Oh, not bad. Robotic turret, dude. I'll take that. Let's go. That's a little bit of cash money. M metaphorical cash money. There's also literal cash money. Oh! Dude, I think that's the first time we've ever gotten a tactical assault rifle. I already have one back at home that I bought for like 10 grand. <laughs> a few, uh, uh, what should I call it? I think that was like first week, second week of our survival adventure. So quite a bit ago. I kind of feel like that floor is just going to collapse under me. It might just be the skeptic inside of me. Wow, I love this carnage we caused. So satisfying. But all right. Now it's time for us to loot the rest of this joint. Make sure there's nothing we left behind. No stone unturned. Never know where the goodies are going to be. So I feel like there are more goodies awaiting us. I suppose I can loot up this stuff. We're not going to be finding no fully automatic shotguns in here. Unless? Maybe? No, we're not going to be finding no fully automatic shotguns. We'll be finding some nice resources. Some oil here and there. Other resources that we can then put to use. Oh, small medical pile. To further our survival. Building. Uh, crafting. Etc. Etc. I feel like there's got to be something up here. That's nice, right? No way it just garbage all the way up. Right? Unless? Okay, never mind. Literally, nothing all the way up. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Ooh. Maybe something here? Garbage pile. Bricks. Nothing there. Nothing here. Hmm. What the? That door was giving me so much trouble for literally no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I got a barrel bag. You're like so many different like cheeky little corners and all. I don't know what we're looking for. Although I should. I mean, if I notice any of these, I, I wasn't doing the best job. We've been a little bit distracted for most of the episode, you know, with zombies. Uh, if I do see these things, I forget. Do these things drop anything? Is this the... This is paper. And scrap polymers. Yeah, no, I'm not too interested in that. I am interested in any of these blue things, though. The cement and rocks. I mean, no harm, no foul. If they're just lying around. I don't see no one's names on it, so I suppose I'll... I'll grab my metaphorical sharpie and, and scribble star snipe all over the darn things. Kind of sad, though. Ooh, that's a lot of brass. Never mind, that's not sad. But no, kind of sad that there isn't, like, any other chests lying around anywhere. Bit of a bummer there. I think we've pretty much got everything. I know I probably left behind some, like, reinforced, uh... Some reinforced cement, you know, maybe some re like actually I think there's some right down here. That might collapse the gun store box above it though. Uh, I want I want to leave that there. We can always come back and the loot sometimes respawns after a certain amount of time. So I'd rather keep that there. But yeah, I, I may have forgot a few of these things. If that's the case, eh, not the biggest deal in the world. Does this drop anything? I just stones. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll pick some up. Why not for the sake of it? Just the sad dude. Hey, start with you today. Oh, you know. Picked up some stones. Yeah. I got some stones now. What you gonna do? Fear me. That's what. Ooh. Crikey. Another box. But yeah. Unless I've missed something glaringly obvious. 
that's gonna wrap it up through this little shooting range location. I honestly expected it to be a little bit bigger. But I guess I expected much more out of this like little back section. Ooh, cat food. Um, num, 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 num. Thank you. What's a fine, amazing, intricate delicacy, the palate of flavors. It's my tongue detects. Impeccable. Truly. Immaculate. Incredible. Anyways. Yeah. I guess I expected way more out of this back, but it turns out it was literally a glorified shooting range. Parkour! Uh, uh, there you go. Is that the way I'm supposed to get out? I don't know, but it's the way I did it. Oh. No, don't care about the cooler. Alright. Let's go and skip that a lot home. So definitely a cool little location to check out. But uh, not nearly as crazy as some of its counterparts. You know the ones I'm talking about. The weapon factories of the world that we have looted up. And honestly, the military bunker. I forgot, man, on the uh, on the way back down uh, from our old home. From ye old world. From the before times. From that area. We still have some stuff. Uh, not some stuff, but we, we found a literal military bunker on the way home. That I am quite keen on looting. And an oven. Let's go. But no, I'm quite keen on looting that. So I don't know. Could that be a t -t -t today junior type of thing? It's only 1500 hours. But I don't know, man. I, I know for a fact a military bunker would be a significantly bigger undertaking than what we just undertook. So maybe we take this opportunity. I mean, we got a quest awaiting us not too far away, comrades. It would be nice and easy to take care of this, get great experience, great loot, great money, overall great time. I think all that we got to do is, it is a retrieve the supplies quest. Also, this thing's like low on gas. Oof, I got to refill this thing soon. But yeah, it's literally right next to our home. Might as well knock it out. And we should be able to turn this in before the end of the day. Probably get another uh, quest as well from our comrade. How you doing there, governor? Yay! You ever had some flaming mace to the face? How did you get that hit off on me? What, dude? Are you hacking? That the zombie is hacker. I bend him. I hit him with the band hammer. From what I hear, to lead the band mace. Mace to the face. Um, how do I get into this? Into this home? I don't see like a glaringly obvious way in. Which I feel like there usually is. Actually, never mind, I found it. This is pretty glaringly obvious. We gotta parkour up to the roof, baby. Yep, these flashlights should be able to lead the way. Probably be a nice little surprise up here. Hello! Oh my god, he's disgusting! I forgot, man. They made the crawlers significantly more terrifying. That thing looks like it's something out of Resident Evil before. They just kind of looked like uh, Play-Doh dolls. Nah, those crawlers are terrifying now. <laughs> Dude, that's that painting scared the bejesus out of me. Just seeing a face and not expecting a face always gets me. Um... Is this anything? Actually, what is this? This looks funky, man. What is that? Oh, it's a bathroom! Oh, hello! Kind lady! I hope I'm not interrupting anything, but, uh... There you go. Yeah, I, I, I do whatever you gotta do. Okay, I'm just gonna... Just come in here. Oh! Where? How, where did you literally come from? The closet? I think so! He definitely didn't come from the roof, dude. He literally just came barreling out of that doorway at Mach 5 speeds. <laughs> Yo, what, mate? Alright. No? Nothing too good in the toilet. Um... Is that the best use of pistol ammo? No. But if you didn't notice, we got quite the look of ammo lately. I don't mind being a bit extravagant every once in a while. But, uh, okay. Might be time for some melee weapons. We want some tight quarters. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if there's some things collapsing under our very own feet as we know it. Eh, yeah, some chili. Nice. Always will take some more food, too. I want to see if there's anything hidden behind the paintings. Oh, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey there, bro. Just kidding. I don't know how to make eggs and bakey. Sorry to get your hopes up. I'm taking your arm off for that. 
Oh, nice boots. Hey, and level up. We got one skill point to spare. We do need two for that perk to learn how to craft uh, blade traps, though. So our hunting continues. Ah! Are you guys like synchronized uh, Olympic swimmers or something? Because that was impressive. They came out at the exact same time. Coffee maker? Coffee. Nice. I don't need paper. I don't need empty bottles. Goodbye to those two. Eh. Nada, nada, nada. A little bit of food. I shouldn't be going too ham on looting either. We don't really have a lot of inventory room. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna follow through on my word. Because I remember, like, I literally said that three minutes ago when we entered this place. I'm like, I'm not gonna loot too many places unless it's really good. And what do you know? I'm looting literally everything I've come across because uh, I need an intervention. Hello. Goodbye, number one. Goodbye. Oh, that's not a goodbye, number two. It's more of a toodles. There you go. That's a goodbye. Destroyed workbench. Air filter lamp. I was not expecting to see a landmine down here. Yet here we are. Um, I might scrap that. Just get some iron in exchange for that. I should be able to, however, if we make a little bit more inventory room here. Get a little bit cheeky, right? Um, let's eat up some soup. I'm gonna eat all sorts of food, bro. I'm getting all the nourishment in right now. A little bit of can of stock, too. So we can free up inventory rooms. So we're gonna scrap this workbench. We should be able to get some nice little resources from that. Also scrap the empty cans. But uh, we do have the ranch here. And look at that list of items, dude. Bottom right hand corner. We are getting one of these boys, uh, which we call mechanical parts. That'll be really handy, actually, for blade traps. Uh, which we call more iron, more wood, and experience, man. Everything that we need. It's like a bucket list come true. Ooh, duffel bag. Eh, nothing. Okay, there is. Where is this thing? It says that it is like under. Oh, it's under the stairs. We probably gotta do like a loop de loop here in the basement. I imagine there's gonna be some sort of a crazy surprise. Some kind of crazy zombie. Oh, so crazy. Oh, well, there's another one. Okay, I'm sorry for taunting you. I'll kill you respectfully. Okay. Crazy. Let's go. I'll be grabbing that. And we should be good at doobity doo da doo da day our way out of here. Except, hey, hello. Here's the little end room. This I will loot. This is okay to loot. There are a few nice things in here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and steel boots. Oh, yeah. I have never got a robotic sledge before, but we're going to be able to set this thing up. Is this one of the, what, like, fully autonomous turrets? I don't know if this thing necessarily needs power. I might be tweaking on that. I just don't see, like, a power stat there. We're definitely going to be grabbing that. Oh, let's go, baby. Things are coming up. Millhouse so far. Heck to the yes, brother. What about the gun store box over here? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Ammo pile. Nice, nice, nice like grass. What about shotgun size sealed shipping crate here? So no auto shotgun, but man, we're starting to see a nice little bump up in loot quality. Hard to go wrong with that. Yeah, I'll start scrapping some of these uh level uh, one quality. I'm not scrapping that. Tech little star rifles, nice. But start scrapping some of these undesirables, you know? Some of the things we could do without. Suits, pants, I'm sorry. You must go. Your people need you. And uh, my people, me, I need, I need this. I need this. And those are some nice boots too. I probably need the boots as well. Um, I suppose it's time for a feast. Nothing like the delicacies first. The delicacies of the cat. Now the delicacies of the dog. We're going on a freaking like uh, what are, what are those like European like those uh those trips people do those like food tours food tourism is that a thing sounds familiar sounds like something bougie and and unnecessary people would do so it's definitely a thing uh actually no because food's awesome so it's totally necessary uh but yeah we're going on like a food tour but for for all the different animals we had some cat food some dog food all the delicacies only more to come um. I don't really know what else to get rid of, man. I suppose I'm not too connected. Actually, nah, I'll just scrap that. I'll scrap the arrows. We have some more at home. I was going to say, I'm not too connected to these rocks. But I'm like, wait a minute. Nah, me and these rocks do have a connection. <laughs> um, 
Okay, these things on the other hand, I have idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually use those three things to repair. The three things that need the most repairs here in our inventory. Y'all can see those bars near our weapons starting to get a little bit low, some of them are. So, uh, we'll go ahead and fix some of them right up. Yeah, I'll just hit that with the repair too, and boom! No more repair kits, inventory is empty. Let's dip! Someone get the chips, cause we're dipping! Mmm. This makes me crave chips and salsa. Or guac. Oh man, I haven't had some good guac in a hot minute. Why'd you guys do this? It's okay. If anything, I think you have motivated me to go and get some chips and salsa. Probably right after I finish recording this video. And or getting out of this house. Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna... Do this this way. I don't feel like going through the roof. I have an axe. You know what axes are good for? Dead. Alright. Motorcycle! Where are you, friend? Oh yeah, this thing needs some gas. Actually, I don't I have some gas here? Either in my inventory or in the motorcycle. Refuel. Yeah, that'll last. Yeah, that'll, that'll at least get us to the trader. Let's go and turn this puppy in, baby. Oh no, let's not get too wild here. I don't want to accidentally land this motorcycle in a tricky situation. I've done that with some of my vehicles before in the past, man. Not fun. Not fun. You do not want to be digging. Ooh, little buddy hop. You don't want to be digging stuff out of ditches. It's no bueno. No bueno, I tell you. We're turning in quests and making the money, money, money. Oh, hold up. Let's go zombie bowling. Woo. There you go. And uh, just make sure that the job is finished, yeah? Oh. Okay, there you go. Double tap, baby. Second one, just to make sure. <laughs> Alright. Let's go check out Trader Joe. Actually, I forgot. I know that I wanted to level up that skill for the intellect, right? But also, I kind of partially... Yeah. I wanted to level this up so we can sell stuff for more. And also, we see better loot in his secret stash. We sell only the best merchandise. You well, show me the merch, baby. Day. Where's the merch? Your payment. Iron Fire Axe. Okay, not the merch I was expecting, but I shall take it. Still only tier 2 quests. One not too far away. 300 meters. I'll take that, man. I like the close ones. Anything just within our vicinity. Brilliant. Very easy to knock out. Now, here's the thing. He has a restock actually tomorrow. If I upgraded that perk, do I see new things now or do I need to wait? <gasps> Let's go, baby! That is money, dude! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Blade trap schematics. Marksman rifle. If for some reason I have the need, a vending machine. 4x4 four four truck schematics. Augers. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods. We there. got a lot of stuff that I gotta buy from him, and I gotta go and get my money. Before the store closes. Because, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, in about T-minus two hours... Shop's gonna be closed up for the day. So, yeah. I'm gonna go and get some money. <laughs> well, alrighty, y'all. So, this is actually extra awesome. Because not only are we gonna be able to buy a ton of stuff now. But literally, as soon as the morning hits. He's gonna have a brand new stock of weapons. Both in his secret stash and in his normal stuff. Oh, man, we're gonna have some good, good freaking things to get, baby. So if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just really quickly gotta make a little bit of inventory room here. Or I could honestly bring some of this stuff with me. I don't know, sell some stuff. We, I, we're gonna have some decisions to make here on the liquidity split. But long story short, I got about 16 grand to play with. And there's definitely a few things he had that I need. Number one, of course, being the auger. So we're gonna go ahead and run our patooties over there absolutely ASAP. At the beginning of next episode of 7 Days to Night Alpha 19. Because with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is gonna be a little bit of a cliffhanger that we're gonna be ending off on this episode but when we return dude y'all saw some of the things we we're gonna be getting and that auger you have no idea how huge that is that is one of the two power tools that in the chainsaw that we have been waiting for to get in one way or another from buying from looting from crafting which will then allow us with a little bit of gas mixed in to have such better productivity and efficiency 
for harvesting resources, which then means we're going to be able to build our base from scratch significantly faster. And given the fact that it is day 18, about to be nighttime, and at the day 21 nighttime, there's a giant angry mob attacking us of zombies that want my pancakes. Well, we got to stop them from having my pancakes. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. But that's going to really start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding the fortune. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.